Hey guys, Scott here. Today what we're gonna do, we got this pretty mangled up fender. So we're gonna beat the heck out of this and see if we can reshape it, body work it, repaint it. So you can see right in here, it's creased in pretty bad. That's where the turn signal uh, bracket goes. Creased along the edge right here. So we'll beat that back into place. Left side's pretty good. So not too bad. So let's get started here. Okay guys, here's our fender. We're gonna really beat, beat and bang this thing. So as you can see, there is a crease on the side here. We have this crease right here. There's a little dent right here. Left side looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do we're gonna start with this little dent. So basically what you wanna do, you can feel, actually you can see this one. What we're gonna do, we're gonna beat that out. The newer fenders, the Harley fenders are kind of, uh, they're quite a bit thinner than they used to be. So now we haven't ground yet any area so we can see exactly where we stand. Okay, we're getting there. Notice I got it laying against the table here. It's almost like a dolly. Acts as a dolly. Okay, not too bad. A lot of times, too, you'll see the Harley paint cracking. Sometimes they're painted more than once, I've found. They must run it through the line. If they have a flaw or something, they'll run it right back through the line. Okay, that's good for there. Later on, we'll grind this area. Speaking of tools, we got the grinder, mini grinder, three inch disc, quarter turn. Right there, you just insert it, turn it. We got our pick hammer. Sometimes these are pointed. I personally like this style. So, fairly uh, expensive hammer. This is a fiberglass handle. Most of them are wooden. I have a good dolly. This thing's probably about 30, probably 40 years old. And then we have my DA. Like I mentioned on a previous video, there's different throws on DAs. This is an aggressive throw, so it will cut Bondo, it'll cut paint. So we use it for prep and body work. So I have uh, probably about five different DAs I got the, uh, the minimum pitch and the medium and my body DA, which is this one here. This is a uh, Dyna braid. So what we're gonna do now, we'll work on this area here. There's a little ding right here too. And we got this area here. You can see we got these body lines to contend with. So we'll do our best to get it shaped as best as possible. Again, I'll use the table. Now this area, I'll use the, the flat side of the hammer. One thing to mention about these hammers, make sure you don't use this as a regular hammer if you're beating in nails or anything like that. You want to keep this surface, this is about 20 years old, you want to keep this surface as flat as possible. Try to avoid nicks, big nicks, anything like that. Okay, we're gonna try to beat this area out. Again, I'll press it against the table. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over here. Little crease right in here. Gotta try to beat that out a little bit. Beat this little one out. Okay, we can beat this a little more. 
I believe I just had a customer pull up. It's 715 in the morning. I'm not positive on that. Maybe not. So anyway, we'll go ahead and uh, beat this out a little more. Try to avoid this little mounting area right here. Now sometimes you can't use the hammer this way, obvious, obviously, so. Okay, that's looking pretty good, actually. Okay, this is our dolly. Notice there's a slight curve on this. this. This side's flat. So what we'll do, we'll use the flat side on this because obviously we have some areas out more than they should be. Beat those back into place. Maybe this area out a little bit more, which is right here. Okay, I think we are good on that. Okay, so now we got this crease on the side. I would say this is in a little bit, and obviously this is out a little bit. So what we'll do, we'll use our dolly. Sometimes what I've done is placed it against the corner of a table and do it that way. But in this case, we'll use our dolly, see how that works. We'll try this first. Okay, now what we'll do, flip this around. This time we will use the table. Should probably use, we got a ton of paper on this, so it's kind of soft. So I think what we'll do, we'll put this on the ground. Tilt it up just a little bit. And give it a good cup of wax. Okay, it's getting good. Put it back up on the table here. Okay, this time what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the dolly over here and hit it over here. Getting pretty good. Now keep in mind this is covered with bags too. That's one of the reasons the customer didn't want to replace this fender anyway, is because it's pretty much covered. If we can make this area look good right here, we're in the money. So let's work this out just a little more. Okay, let's give it a couple more wax right here. Okay, I think we're good. Maybe this area right here looks like it goes in a little bit. So what we're gonna do. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Okay, what we're gonna do now. Looks like we got all the creases and dings, nothing over here. So we're gonna take our mini grinder we're gonna grind all these areas. This is a 24 grit disc. You can see this area ground a little faster than the rest of it. We're gonna tap that down a little.
Okay, you see this area is a little high, so what we'll do, dolly underneath there and tap right on that crease. Okay. Also, sometimes these holes on the Harley get pulled out. Beat on that a little bit. Okay, this area right here. Okay, we're gonna blow this off. Now here's what I do a lot of guys don't do, is all this rough edges right here, what I do is feather this all out. Now what happens is normally when you bondo, normally you never get the uh, raw area big enough. So when you overlap this with the thin coat of Bondo, especially black or darker colors, eventually you're gonna see all these rough edges. So when you feather it, it makes it so much nicer. You won't have that issue of those grind marks on the edge of the paint coming back. I always do this, whether it's a ding, a big dent, you can also, of course, obviously make the, uh, the area bigger with the DA. You can see this is an aggressive DA. I forget the part number, but... Be sure and look at the throws that they have. I believe this is 3 8 I showed a comparison in my uh, previous video between a fine throw and this uh, pretty aggressive throw. And also notice when I do the motorcycle parts, like mentioned in the uh, previous video, I like the thicker pads. I do not like the thin pads. Usually I never use those. These especially work great on the, uh, on the motorcycle parts because there's really no flat parts on a motorcycle part. So this gives you a little cushion. I used to use stick it pads, but I think they're twice as much as this pad that I got here. I'll see if I can find one. I just order it locally. I'll see if I can find the link to one and put it in the uh, description. This is just 80 grit I got here. Okay. That looks good, so let's blow it off one more time. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a Bondo spreader, I'm gonna go ahead and mud this up, and I'll check back with you guys shortly, show you how it's coming. 
Okay, I'm in the booth now. I got the body work all done. Uh, actually took me two coats of body work, uh, Bondo, to take care of the areas. As you can see around the edges, it's all feathered nice and neat. There's no deep 80 grit or 40 grit scratches. I did use 40 grit, but I merely just used it on a DA to kind of shape it. And then to, uh, you know, feather some of the edges. It's finished in 180. Anytime you prime with 2K, you want to finish in 180. Uh, nothing coarser. No 40. Uh, and you also don't want any of those uh, gouges from the grinder. So it's all feathered nice and neat. Also notice, I left this in here on purpose. I've already cleaned this out. You want to clean your holes before you do any priming or painting. So sometimes you do it with a blower. Sometimes you gotta take a screwdriver, something like that. So it came out pretty decent. Uh, this is all covered right here. A uh, little bit of a high spot, but about four coats of 2K primer should take care of that. That's all hidden anyway, right down the side here. It's all hidden. So I'm gonna 2K this, and then we're gonna sand it probably later on today, but realistically probably tomorrow. We got pretty much the whole set to paint. So it did take me two coats to do. I blocked it out. Uh, it looks real good. Saved the customer quite a bit of money, so I'm sure he'll be happy. So, so we'll be. I'll go ahead and prime this. I'll show you what it looks like once it's all blocked out and painted. So thanks for watching. Okay, we got that fender all painted. So I think it came out real good. So the LED fascia covers the side here. So, and the bags covered the side, so came out all right on the sides, but this is the main area we wanted. The uh, uh, turn signal bar goes across those two holes, so that'll, that'll look good. Nothing wrong with the left side there, so paint job came up good overall. So, customer will be happy, so hopefully you find this video helpful using the hammer and dolly and a couple other tips, so I appreciate you watching. Uh, it, Thumbs up please, subscribe if you haven't already, appreciate you watching, thank you.